you guys welcome back to the channel so today's video we got an action figure i've been dying to get my hands on it is the one the only the only my boy from the arkham knight video games the arkham knight red hood oh my god look oh my god look at this <laughs> insane wow wow this is everything i want it to be look at this i don't even want to take him out of packaging he's so dope the only thing that pisses me off is he doesn't come with his guns a red hood that doesn't come with guns but it's okay it's all right um we got extra guns accessories we can use venom yep he comes with two trigger fingers um i guess there's a way he comes with the line launcher i guess and this is from the video game uh, well obviously that's kind of dumb um you know arkham knight says it for himself um but um yeah he doesn't come with his gun so luckily i got like a million red hood figures so we could take two guns off of them and Put him with that we could get a rifle as well we could go on a hunt try to find the old like video game figures from that from that pacific line trying to find that rifle to go with this arkham knight and then i said what the hell because one of my brothers from another mother um was on a hunt and he's like yo do you need this and i was like oh my god that is the last piece that i that i need i couldn't find this figure anywhere and that is the batman from the dark knight returns so we could finally build our build a figure piece and yeah guy i can't find this figure anywhere so super happy that he was able to find him and i was like yes plus i this this is probably my most hype figure from the line just because i love this classic batman suit i this is like one of my favorites i like the big fat bad sing a symbol on his chest to me it looks absolutely amazing but yeah guys um let's get straight on into it so first we'll open up the dark knight returns and then we'll open up the arkham knight because this is the hype of this video so let's go ahead and do that baby Okay, guys, so when you take out the Batman, this is what he looks like. And like I said, man, I love this suit. Um, I love the fat logo. The only thing that, that I, I understand this, and I was talking to a friend of mine, and even he, he's like, man, I like this wave. I just don't like the, the designs of this, uh, of most of the figures, mostly the Joker and the Batman, because he said he prefers his Batman with longer ears. Um which is like come on batman's supposed to look like a bat uh at least his cow i should say should look like a bat and this uh, you never see a bat with short ears and i was like yeah i understand that but i still love the overall design of him um just this this whole gray just gives a classic design um i don't know why he needs so many pouches <laughs> but he has a lot of gadgets um so i guess he needs a million pouches around his waist for that uh he comes with two different i guess this is kind of like a closed hand but i think these fists are made basically for him to hold the horse um you know the leash on the horse or whatever you want to call it um so i think that's why those are made like that i'm not a huge fan of that uh i'm not sure i'm gonna display this batman on a horse. actually i might i'm not really sure Let's see how articulation is. So I'm gonna mess around with him when I took him out. Um, what, what's what, what's up with all these cuts right here? Wow, that is a lot. Um, yeah, they don't kind of match up too, like on the legs right here. Not really a huge fan of that. The boots, the boots look okay, but the joints do show too much. Like I said, that's an uh it's probably been like that for a while but i just now start to notice that <laughs> um so there's that but this is how the boots look they look pretty good the cow is uh of course a little soft plastic he's kind of similar to most of um that's a cow i mean cape uh i don't know what's going on with me today but anyways uh 
this kind of looks folded in it kind of looks weird like that like, look at that but this is how the back of his head looks with the tiny ears this is how it looks from the side i love the mouth on here uh he just has that grinning teeth um the eyes look pretty good as well and i don't know it just screams batman to me um well classic batman and now i guess what we could do is show off the rest of the horse also real quick i should mention that he comes with two different closed fists so if you don't want to use the if you want to use him outside of not putting him on the horse um, you could have him with two closed fists, so that's actually pretty cool. I prefer it that way. Um, and then he comes with his kind of like long battering, um, I don't know what you call this, uh, but if you don't want to display him, like I said, you want to have him like in a fighting pose or whatever, have him throwing his <laughs> line launcher battering thingy, um, you could use this as well. So this one has, the, of course, the fat logo is what I like to call it, as well as kind of like the wrapping uh, wrap so he could actually grip it. So that's actually pretty cool. And then let's show off the horse. Okay, so this is how the horse looks when you finally put it all together. The, the front legs kind of do look like, um, like they're kind of, I don't know, they're not as flexible. The bottom... Uh, bottom pieces are but not really the the top part of the leg which is really unfortunate and this is kind of hard to show off on camera because he is like really really big um so there's that the um the tail is on a ball joint so you can put it whichever way you want you want to put it up you want to put it down you want to put it to the side um, well the side not so much a little bit uh, <laughs> um, you could put it like that. Uh, overall, it's a cool design of a horse. Um, actually, I'm not mad at this. Um, I, I think, I don't know. I'm not sure I want to use a Batman figure for this type of horse. Um, if you have any other character, like for me, uh, the first thing I thought of in my collection with a horse would be the Witcher with Geralt. Uh, this could be my new roach uh, because I don't really buy horse figures like that. Um, so this, actually, kind of think about it. This might be my first horse figure in my collection. Um, so there's that. But anyway, let's go ahead and switch over to what you guys probably clicked on this video for. And that is the Arkham Knight. Okay, guys, so when you take the Arkham Knight out of the packaging, this is what he looks like, and he looks absolutely freaking amazing. Now, the one thing I would say would probably be, um, it's not really a big gripe or whatever. Um, it's basically like something really minor is that this body uh, and the legs really, it, it looks too uh, futuristic. Um, when the Arkham Knight, I uh, would have preferred if he would have stood towards the original design of the video game. But overall, that's not really, it's, it doesn't really take away from the figure as much. Uh, let's go ahead and show off the head because to me, uh, his original design in the video game was always like my favorite. Um, I like the red um, helmet as well because, like I said, this is. Um, if you guys have never played the Arkham Knight video games, Arkham Knight is Red Hood. Um, so I always prefer the Red Hood version of the Arkham Knight. Uh, but overall, I, like I said, I like, I mean, it's fine with me either way. I still love the whole design of them. This is how the eye looks. Now the eye is kind of off to the side just a little bit. Um, but that's fine. Um, cause to me it kind of doesn't look centered as you guys can tell. But overall, it's not really nothing I'm going to cry about. Um, so there's that. And he has his logo on the side of his little shield. Um, so there's that. Uh, or I should say, not shield, armor. Uh, this is how the back looks. It looks pretty good. Small little designs everywhere. That's the one thing about Todd Figures is that he's small little details from everything from his belts to his pouches up down to like 
you know to the armor or whatever it looks pretty good um this one it, it gives off the detail like this is actually like a metal but it's really not of course he comes with two trigger fingers like i said i guess these are to grip the grenades and the uh, the line launcher that he comes with but um like i said we got two pistols we're gonna put on him because that's how i prefer my arkham knight um also i might even buy a rifle from one of the older figures and have him with the rifle as well because i think that was a pivotal part of this of the, of the video game with him with the big gigantic rifle and there was a mission in the video game where you have to try to hide from him um if not uh from the open this is, if you pop your head up, he shoots you instantly. I don't remember if it was the instant death, but I know it took away like a lot of your health. Um, if if I remember that. Um, but yeah, so so dope. Uh, now this is how the legs look. They look pretty good as well. As now let's see if he's flexible. Um, not so much. I mean, I'm really forcing him to do a double knee. It's really touching his boat, his back really. Uh, leg swivel, I mean, it's okay, it's passable, of course, ball joint on the foot, um, so there's that, let's see, ab crunch, ab crunch is pretty good, uh, the chest piece is preventing him from really going down a lot, I, but I think he would have been really flexible, let's see the helmet, yeah, I didn't even notice, like, the side of it, uh, right here, uh, but it, yeah, it's not preventing the helmet from doing the 360, the arms. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. I think the only thing really is kind of like the thighs, but that's normal when it comes down to any McFarlane figure. <laughs> and maybe it's the belt buckle with all the pouches and grenades that's probably preventing him. Is it though? Yeah, a little bit because the grenades is touching the pouches um but yeah overall he looks so freaking dope i just love this figure man i mean when he announced it i was like i absolutely need this um but yeah guys that is the arkham knight and don't worry i can't end out showing arkham knight without a cool clip so hope you guys enjoy that as well actually i could i could actually put the guns on him now let's do that before i show off the cool clip Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I took off the uh, Red Hood pistols that goes with the uh, other figures from his from his uh, line. And, yeah, they look just as good with this Arkham Knight as well. So I'm probably going to use these pistols on him. Um, as well as, I forgot, what am I doing? Like, I was trying to end the, end the, um, the video, but I realized I didn't even show off the other accessories. So let's go ahead and show that off as well. Okay, guys, so this is how he looks like when he's holding the grenade. Um, or it should be a grenade or tear gas or whatever it is. Uh, I, I believe it's a grenade. This is how the grenade looks. Uh, but it's just bland. It's whatever. And then this is how the line launcher looks as well. So it's kind of like your normal Batman accessory. Because remember, uh, in the video game, he knows all Batman's moves. So this helps him out as well. So that's actually a pretty cool accessory to have on him. Um, I would prefer if like they start adding like pouches on them so you can actually hold some of the accessories instead of uh, just having them just laying off in a, be a, a box or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, but that's how he looks with that. Now we can go off and show off Arkham Knight cool clips. I hope you guys enjoy that. You like this?
Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did enjoy this, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as hitting that bell so you don't miss another unboxing just like this one. Thank you guys for the, all the recent support, as well as subscribing. We're almost close to 300 subscribers, which to me, I know it doesn't seem like a lot to many people, but that is a lot to me, and I appreciate everyone who who does hit that, that that subscribe button as well as hitting that bell we still got tons and tons of more pre-orders coming in and they're coming in pretty fast and trust me you're not going to want to miss any of these um, unboxings feel free to either correct me or let me know some knowledge down in the comment section down below some of you guys have been com commenting down below correcting me a few times listen but sometimes when I hit that bell, I don't, I'm not all there all the way. So I appreciate everyone with the corrections. And trust me, it is welcome. Um, as long as you guys are respectful about it, I appreciate everyone who uh, who does um, um, leave a down, uh, comment down below. I mean, some of you guys are like, no, actually, it's this, like, there was one. I believe it was the spawn with the spawn bodies or whatever somebody actually corrected me and was like no 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 that's that's not reused that's a um home new body on there and i was like you know what you're right buddy so <laughs> so um yeah i appreciate everyone who does feel free to correct me down below every time i get things wrong i appreciate it as well as you're not only just doing it to correct me you're also informing anyone uh, any everyone else who was probably skeptical on it was like maybe i should skip on this because this is a um this i was on the debating whether to pick this one up uh but yeah you guys help out other collectors as well so like i said as long as you guys are being uh respectful about it uh that's all that matters to me um you guys could correct me all you guys want <laughs> um but anyways guys you guys have a wonderful amazing day and see you guys Bye.